Autonomy for Tobago took the main stage in President Christine Kangaloo's first address to the Tobago House of Assembly. She noted her desire to speak on the matter in Tobago to Tobagonians and in the Assembly as she publicly shared her support for self-governance for Tobago. I believe that at this juncture of our country's history, our task, the signal importance of which has escaped neither the Chief Secretary nor me, is to fight to keep the question of Tobago's autonomy on the national agenda and to strain every muscle in us to, to struggle for its achievement and attention until it is advanced and achieved. Her speech seemed to be a timely response to the Chief Secretary, who minutes before in his address noted Tobago has not been treated well and called for the President's intervention. We desire more than anything else devolved responsibility and authority in law to see over the socio-economic development of the island. And while it is no fault of yours as an individual or as a former parliamentarian, it is a fault of this country that we must work to correct. President Kangaloo said the attempts to accomplish self-governance have been noted, but more needs to be done. She gave her commitment to lend her voice to the advocacy. What is now required is for us to push our representatives, both in the Assembly in Tobago and in the Parliament in Port of Spain, to take us over the finish line. That government has seen it fit to save that bill from the last parliamentary session and put it on the order paper for this parliamentary session is a step, the significance of which should not be underrated. The president noted the struggle for self-governance is aimed at making the union between Trinidad and Tobago better. She indicated that though not mentioned in her address, the sea and air bridge wars and economic development in Tobago are also at the forefront of her mind. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.